so welcome back to another episode of Travis's Musings. This month, we've got a pretty special guest joining us on the Musings today, which he has uh, asked that we change the title to TSP Tank Tops and Travis, or Tank Tops with Travis, uh, for the interview today. But I've got Jaron Falcon with us today. He's one of the admins on the Seasonal Facebook group. Actually, he's not an admin. He's the creator of the Seasonal Strategies Facebook group. And this is going to be interview number one of the admin series where we I'm going to be interviewing the admins once a month and uh, going one at a time so everybody can kind of get to know them and put a face uh, to the the individual behind the keyboard, so to speak. So, um, so Jaron, being the creator, it gets the number one slot. And um, uh, I, I am going to say, so I do need to give a shout out to Anthony who sent me this tank top, um, which is the, the Melt Up Elmo tank top, which is one of my favorite, favorite gifts when it comes to the market. And so thank you, Anthony, for that. I think this is going to be my regular staple uh, tank tops with Travis uh, interview shirt. So <laughs> so welcome, Jared. Thank you. Awesome. So um, why don't you go ahead and start and introduce yourself and kind of tell us a little bit about uh, who you are, what you like to do um, outside of TSP and managing a Facebook group. Uh, give us your TSP story. Um, obviously, you're, you're a federal employee. Um, so uh, go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Well, hello. So, uh, as Travis said, my name's Jaron. Um, I have been a federal employee for probably getting close to 20 years now. Um, I'm a special category employee. Uh, that's probably as much as I want to say about that. Um, but uh, been um, started as a uh, GS7 and uh, worked my way up uh, to a, a little bit higher now uh, after 20 years. Um, so most of the time, um, starting my journey in TSP, I was, I was, I want to say most of the time I, I did a, a ton in the G fund, uh, starting out in TSP because, uh, HR told me to go to the G fund. Isn't that sad? But when I first, <laughs> when I first got on, uh, HR said, um, uh, you know, the lady who was walking me through my paperwork because we didn't have the interwebs at that time, uh, she is, you know, I'm on the phone and I've got the papers and we're going on through each one. We got to the TSP and she said, yeah, you're just going to want to leave everything in the G fund. Uh, you should put 5% in. Uh, but if you don't look, you know, if you put it in anything else, you could lose it all. So leave everything in that G fund and, uh, but you want to get that match. So put 5% in. So I did that for a lot. Which of was, I mean, at least they're encouraging the match, right? I mean, that's, it's free money that you're leaving on the table. Right. right. Right, right. So that was good. And, and I stayed in there for, geez, several years, uh, um, all through the uh, early 2000s. And uh, I, I want to say somewhere around probably four or five years into it, somebody, somebody someplace said, you know, you need to do this split. You know, you need to be in 60% C, 20% I, 20% uh, S. Right. And I said, okay. So I did that. And, uh, you know, I think I was in there for probably a year or so and, and doing kind of okay, I guess, and not really knowing if I was doing okay because I didn't really know how to look or, or anything. Um, it was just a, it was a spooky thing for me, the TSP. You know, nobody talked about it uh, other than, you know, just don't mess with it because you lose everything you got. Well, and that's, that's a big taboo in American culture is talking about money and finances. And I know that, right. a lo- a lo- I mean, I know obviously us, uh, we talk quite a bit um, about mm. finances. And I've, I've been trying to encourage, I've got some people in my friends group where, you know, we talk about how much money we make, we talk about where we invest, and we don't do it as a bragging aspect, but it's as right. an educational aspect because there's so many people who just don't know, right? No, absolutely. Man. I mean, we didn't know anything, and, and nobody told us anything. And, you know, I, I can guarantee you, you know, with the answer that I got from HR, she didn't know anything. Right. You know, so... Uh, we came in, it wasn't a tongue past when, um, well, I mean, I guess FERS had been around for quite a while, but still nobody really knew a ton about TSP. You know? So I, I did that, the split, I guess, the 60-20-20 split, and then uh, 2008 hit, and uh, I lost like 37% or 32%, mm-hmm. something like that, and um, I got freaked out, and I threw everything in the G uh, at the bottom of it. When I lost the thirty-seven percent because you know what I was stupid enough and I, to lose it all, like right. the lady. <laughs> so I went back to what she said, you know, which is, oh, I got to put this in the G. I'll lose the rest of it. Right. 
Well, so, um, and I, I stupidly stayed in there uh, all throughout the next three years when it, it took off and everything came back. Yeah. You know, like triple fold in the next three years. Kind of like how I it did in, in like four months this year, right? Right. <laughs> so. Exactly. One, one month. One I, and month. that was insane. But Right. Uh, so it, um, I stayed out uh, for most of the recovery. And then I jumped back in and I did. I probably went back to that split, if I, if I recall. Sure. And, um, and then probably about 2015, I, um, I got really frustrated. Uh, it was the beginning, I think it was the end of 2015 and my, uh, 60, 20, 20 split had the I in it. And I want to say in 2015, the I was negative, like negative 7% or something like that. I mean, anybody can go back and look, I, I can't recall right off the bat, but at the end of the year, I got really angry because I'm like, how am I still losing money and not knowing what I'm doing? You right. know what I mean? So one of the things about me is I'm, I'm very inquisitive. And I hate looking dumb. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sure. I hate not knowing something uh, that I should know. You know, so I started doing some research about TSP. I got on the TSP website and and looked at everything. And, you know, I saw some of the L funds. I think they were just kind of starting at that time. You know, um, maybe it wasn't even, you know, at that time. It was just later. But uh, I started doing research and research and research somewhere around um, the beginning of 2016. Um, and then I happened to, you know, looking on the Internet, there's really not a ton on there, even at that time, mm -hmm. um, you know, five, six years ago. Uh, I, I stumbled across uh, TSP Center, right? And I started looking on that, and it was these guys starting to talk about different ways to invest TSP. Uh, and then we we – you know, uh, I don't know if you were one of the guys on, on, at that time, but it was getting pretty close to where we all started meeting. The guys who were the admins or the moderators. Yeah, like 2015, now. 2016, I think is when I, yep. Right. So I started doing, um, I, I, I went on there and uh, um, there's the other Travis, the smart Travis. The smart there. Travis, that's right. <laughs> smart Travis was the moderator at TSP Center. Yeah. Uh, he actually had, you know, uh, his musings over there. Right. Right, which is what the this the ode the ode here that was kind of the reason, yeah, that, yep. So right, right. So we started. I, I read through that, and, and it just blew my mind. I'm like, are you are you saying there's cyclical ways that things trade? Right. You know, um, you know, the selling me and go away. You know, and and then there was these all these old uh, all these old monthly strategies that uh, instead of how we're doing it now, originally how this all happened was you had a handful of guys, and I think they'd been doing it since like 2000. 12 right like that it wasn't it wasn't that long there was a couple of guys who probably did it on paper longer than that but um from what i remember some of the guys have been doing it five six years and they so you would get into uh the s fund at the beginning of the month in january and you would stay there uh until the end of that month yeah it was one so, it was one trade a month right one trade a month and right. it was at the end of the you know, unless you stayed in that fund. Right. And I, you know, I remember a lot of his, his stuff was like po the PNR, right? The positive negative ratio, right. yeah. um, you know, right. the average positive mean for the month, theory. those kind of things. Yep. It had to be 80% positive, you know, right. Right. Negative. It would be something that he said would go into or whatever. So you can, it, it's all still on there. You could go to TSP center and, and take a look at it and find his musings and he'll go through everything, you know, and, and, I think we actually have a link to it. I, right? I think we do on the Facebook group, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, and and no. so just so you guys know too, Matt did acquire TSP Center um, because it was it was going to go away, right? It was it was he was going to shut it down, and Matt acquired it. And as far as I'm aware, this isn't a big secret, but I think he wants to merge uh, TSP Calc and TSP Center. So we've got the calculator and the forums all together and whatnot. So um, so so that was about the time that we all met, right? Right, we were all we all had our own funky little handles on there, and you and I and Larry and Matt all met. Well, and then Matt um, took that those those monthly strategies and went a step further. And I, I want to say in 2016, um, or may have been to the end of 2015, um, he had on his own uh, came up with his own strategy. The first seasonal strategy daily we used to call it the daily the daily strategy, strategy right yeah right 
So uh, daily seasonal instead of monthly seasonal. And I think it was seventy nine eighty, right? Wasn't that the the first that that number always? I've got it saved on my my account, but I think it's seventy nine eighty, so. which was the winner. <laughs> What's that? I came up with the seventy nine eighty. That was oh. my first. Jaron, was... for those of you playing at home, don't ever discount this gentleman here on picking a strategy. At the end, at the beginning of every year, I'll look at his strategies and be like, I don't know, man. I don't know if that's no. going to work. And then they just come out and they just hammer. So I mean, because even what. What fifty one seventy one? What what is what was our twenty nineteen? Seven one. Yeah, and it's still it's still doing well, right? This year, right? So right. Uh, I think it's actually not doing too bad. There's a few of them that aren't doing too bad. I you know I've got them all in my uh, in my TSP calc right. uh, uh, history. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, so I look back at them now and again and go, ooh, look at that, it's still doing all right. So, so Matt so, started doing his, and he told he made a thread in in TSP Center, and he told right. us about it. And I looked at his stuff, and a couple of us, I think you and I, were the first beta users of his original um, his original site, right? Me, you, and Larry. That's yeah, I think there was a couple others, too. But, I mean, I think we were some of the the, the early guys. There were some of the people I, on TSP I, Center. We <laughs> yep. volunteered. Right? Yeah, we might have volunteered, volunteered, yeah. Gosh, that was an eternity ago. So. Right, uh, right. I mean, it doesn't – I mean, it was probably four or five years ago, but – I mean, 2020 I has lasted four years, though. So, I mean, it was almost a decade <laughs> at, at that point. So, so um, that's where it all kicked off. Right. You know, and then uh, we were, um, you know, uh, TSP Center is an older site, and it just didn't get a ton of uh, – And it, so, Matt Matt launched the, the regular TSP uh, calc, yep. and uh, a lot of the guys on there started using it, and we all started kind of digging around. I mean, 7980 was a, a really good uh, – a really good example of uh, one of the ones that we found, and um, you know, just uh, just kind of a confession. I'm terrible at the seasonal builder. You know, uh, everything I do is by hand. I'll go in and I, you know, uh, Travis and I actually sat down. Travis took all the um, all the returns uh, for uh, since TSP's been around or TSP uh, TSP.gov hosted the daily returns. Mm. Uh, you went back and you made that chart with all of them. Yeah. Yep. When I went through and we're picking, trying to pick days by sight, just right. on different colors, was it ever negative or whatever? How or far we've come. <laughs> right. So. It's a little different now. So, um, so we started doing that. I mean, uh, you know, um, our numbers were in the early, you know, like a couple hundreds. <laughs> right. Know? Now we're up to what, 300 or 100. I think we're up to like 140,000 strategies now have been wow. updated on the so, site. So. Uh, probably half of those are mine yep. for just messing around. <laughs> so, so Jaron, so tell me then, um, let's shift gears a little bit. So why don't you talk about then why you created the Facebook group, what it has turned into, and um, and, and kind of, yeah, just kind of talk about that a little bit. Sure. So uh, again, um, kind of to reiterate, uh, TSP Center was an older site. Um, mm-hmm. It's not really trafficked a lot because there's just not a lot of people trafficking older you know, uh, TSP websites anymore, sure. uh, with the, uh, event of, uh, apps and, uh, and everything else. So, uh, at that point, um, I thought it was the bee's knees, man. I really did. And I, I was really sold on it, uh, especially at the beginning because it was like nothing I'd seen before. Sure. Yep. And if you look at the six numbers on it, you're just insane. I mean, that's just crazy. Right. And I think our first, our first couple years doing it, our first year doing it, I didn't tell anybody. My buddy and I, uh, a guy who, who worked with me and I, we jumped on and we did um, the monthlies uh, for a year. We didn't say anything. We didn't tell anybody because this is, you know, it looks, seems like voodoo magic. Sure. You know what I mean? And uh, we actually did really well um, compared to what we had, uh, you know, previously. I sure. mean, we were up in the teens. Yep. And um, and it was um, it beat the buy and hold by several points. And, and so... You know, I was ecstatic. And Which is really point. important. I mean, I, mean, I know. Right. And so I'm going to take this I'll take a quick moment and remind right. everybody that uh, I have a video that talks about what it means to beat the market by 1% every year. Because it's easy to get lost in these giant numbers, right, in the seasonal strategy. But but the goal should always be, and that's something that I'm, I'm doing on my own strategy this year, is bringing it back to my original goal, which was to beat, buy, and hold. And, and so that's really... I mean, that's always the goal, right? Is just to beat, buy, and hold. Otherwise, why are we putting all this work in? Absolutely. I mean, my original goal was to do one percent a month. Right. If I can make positive one percent a month, that's what that's what my monthly strategy was. You're killing it. I, 
one percent a month. Yep. I get twelve percent a year. I'm a millionaire when I retire. One hundred percent. Yep. <laughs> so I was I was super stoked, and you know some of the numbers we've seen are just kind of just phenomenal. Sure. And um, so yeah, so um, it, it all became because of exposure. I mean, I, I just didn't feel like. Um, it was getting enough exposure. And even though I don't own it and, and I really had nothing to do with it, I believed in it enough that I'm like, you know, we need to probably do this and, and have people take a look at it. So um, I started the, uh, started the T. I think I told Matt, I'm like, Hey, we should start a TSP, you know, um, a group on, on Facebook. And he's like, well, okay, whatever. You know? <laughs> I don't know if he had a ton of interest at that point. Sure. Um, just because, you know, I don't, he's not, he wasn't a super Facebook guy. At the time. Right. 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 Uh, so uh, I started it. I invited, uh, I think, uh, Larry and you and Matt, and that's how we started. Yeah, it was four of us. And um, and then I think a few of the guys from TSP Center came over. Right. And, um, you know, uh, I think we told friends, and, and they told friends, and I think our first couple of years we did okay. Yep. And, and, you know, success, you know, obviously breeds success, you know, so people people started showing up and, I don't know how long did it take us to get a thousand members. Uh, it, it it took a little bit. I know we had some crossover with um, the other thrift savings plan group, right. and um, but I just I just checked just now because I was curious. I haven't looked. Um, we're at twenty six thousand members in the TSB seasonal strategies Facebook, which is insane, right? Um, because we've only been really active on there for about three years. Yeah, maybe like two and a half, I think. Um, and so so. Have you, I mean, when you, when you started the Facebook group, I mean, was your goal just education? Is that kind of what you were, were trying to do? Yeah, is... it, it really, and it still is. You're right. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, obviously Matt owns the, the TSP Calc and, and, uh, and quite honestly, at our urging, we've, we've told him, I'm like, dude, this is a ton of work you're putting in. I mean, he started working at almost like as a second full-time job. Sure. You know what I mean? Trying to get that thing uh, off the ground and, uh, you know, and, Everybody's profiting off it pretty good, so I think we had we had pushed him. I'm like, man, you should really look at monetizing it, you know. Right. And I, I, you know, um, I'm I'm assuming he had already, you know, had that in mind and didn't need our prompting, uh, and so he did. But uh, but I, I think it's worked out really well for everybody. So sure. so my main goal, and as I think that's also why, you know, and when you talk with Matt, um, you know, you'll be able to kind of uh, get his thought process behind it. But we split. You know, away from we're not a TSP. You know, we're this isn't TSP Calc group. You know what right. I mean? It's yep. just, right. Right. So we try not to be. Uh, I mean, it's really hard because we use his calculator every day. Right. Totally. Um, yep. you know, so the, the 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 lines are blurred a lot of the time. Uh, but I get a lot of people that that PM me and go, "Hey, I can't get on a username." Blah blah blah. You know, sure. I'm like, ah. Talk to the Travis. You That's know, me. Talk That's to right. Matt. So for those of you guys who don't know. Um, uh, I do the customer service for TSP Calc, and so if you guys have questions about TSP Calc, uh, go ahead and send me a message. If you're wondering why you're banned, uh, go ahead and talk to Jaren over here. This is your, <laughs> no, so here's no, your here's no, your guy to chat to about that. So. Is new band lady. She's the one that we we've directed everybody to. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I, I mean you know. So um, really, it's really about education, sure. and, and a lot of. Um, a lot of how this has kind of morphed into more of an educational site about uh, the strategies, about seasonal strategies, um, and, and there's there's a lot of uh, basic uh, TSP 101 in in what we teach and what we try to, to help with, and that's really just because we hadn't we didn't have anybody helping us. Right. You know what I mean? And there's so uh, much there. I shouldn't say there's so much. Uh, that's an oxymoron. But uh, the the lack of information among the federal workforce. When it comes to their own retirement, and I shouldn't even say the federal workforce, in people in general, I've had so many conversations with individuals in my life that are not federal employees that just don't have a clue about retirement and the importance of it and how to plan for it. And and I think that um, at the end of the day, seasonality aside, I think that we've all done a really good job, and I, and for the most part, the members are fantastic as well. Of course, we always get some bad apples sometimes, but the, the goal is to further our own education and to further the education of the of you know in our case the federal workforce and and how they can be better um, because we don't we don't gain from them losing and we don't gain from you know from them right. doing better except for some altruistic uh, desire to educate people right right that and, and that's my main thing I think uh, for me it's more of a passion project right. than anything else is that. Nobody taught us anything, and um, 
I'm I'm not uh, I'm I'm not at all trying to talk bad about where I work uh, and the people I work with. Sure. I think it's just a, a very and it, and it shocked me. Um, we got people from every agency across the board that come to the to the group and are, are members of the group and active members of the group. And I I can't tell you how many people have PM me and goes, man, I we were told the exact same thing. Leave it in the G. Don't mess with it. You're gonna you're gonna ruin your life. And just the lack of, uh, I guess, understanding that's out there um, and maybe uh, the lack of uh, a formalized training. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a few agencies uh, that I've heard that, hey, we were told right at the beginning and this is this and this is that. Um, but that's very few and far between. So uh, for me, um, I felt, again, I felt kind of silly uh, for a lot of years and scared of it and um, just kind of more um scared and ashamed that I didn't know what was going on with it. And I really didn't understand the importance of it. You know, right. nobody told us about the three legged stool or the three buckets or whatever they're talking right. about now. Right. Um, it was, and you know, and you're talking, um, you're talking about your, your TSP, your pension and your social security supplement, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so, um, now I think, uh, you know, with the government now making sure everybody uh, starts out at what, three or 5% now, I think and it's then, automatic five, right? Right. I think I think it's now changed. It's automatic five, and it automatically places you in the whatever. Well, I think the L fund, right? I think right. it's which right. is you know, and, and here's the thing, and, and I, I'm going to say this. I've said this before. The L fund gets a lot of hate, um, but really all it is is a conglomeration of the available TSP funds. So it's not like it's not like it's terrible. It's just in most people's opinion, not the most efficient use of your of your TSP investment allocation, right? I mean, right, so, especially for younger folks. Right. Uh, that I think have a long time. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I again, I sat in the G fund for a long time. Uh, I probably wavered between 5% and 10%. Um, and then uh, once I got up a little higher in grade, I was able to start putting more and more in. And then I think it's been about four years now that I've maxed out. Yeah. And, uh, it's a it's a big deal to be able to max out, and if you can uh, scrimp and save to do it, I mean it's it's huge, you know it, what I mean. So uh, again, my whole thing is I want people to learn. Yeah. And uh, you know we we've recently uh, and I, we we can talk a little bit about this later, but but recently we've discussed um, some of the things about seasonality are so different that it's really easy to get confused when when people, uh, especially with twenty six thousand, you know. Uh, people um, throw out different opinions, and a lot of what we're seeing now is stuff that I probably thought when I first got into the TSP right. uh, booth, and a lot of misnomers, and there's a lot of um, not really um, truthful information, and maybe it's not, I don't want to say necessarily truthful, it's just wrong because maybe nobody's told them, you right. know, or they have it around, or whatever, so. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of where I, I came from, that's what, you know, what I'm doing now, Um I guess future wise for me, um, you know, I've got four years until I can minimum retire and yay. Uh, but you know, I, I, I could go for another, you know, another seven after that. So I could potentially go for another 11 years. Right. You know, so, but you're not, right. You're not planning on that. Uh, as of right now, um, and we could have a totally different discussion about that. If you take a look (laughs) at the numbers, uh, when you're eligible to retire mm-hmm. and um, your TSP is looking good and your three legs are, are looking really well and then you can retire and go do something else and make it on top of what you're making sure. now, um, it's it's almost... So you're talking uh, about you're talking about contracting after, right? Well, contract or getting another job, right? you know? And I know a lot of folks come back as retired annuitants and uh, on top of their, their retirement and, and then all of a sudden they're making... You know, half again or, or twice again what they're right. bringing home right now. That, in my agency is very similar. We have a lot of highly highly specialized technical jobs that are not right. common, and so it's very common for people to retire and then rehire as contractors, and then they're double right. dipping, right? I mean, it's right, um, right. You know, to go past when when you can, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense financially mm. if you if you have that in mind. Yeah, I mean, if you don't want to work and, and and, you know, there's a little bit of that, you know, every every time I have a, a, a bad few days, I think, hey, you know what, maybe retire for good. Maybe yeah. just so you got to get your you got to get your KMA date on your right, right, right on your uniform. Yeah, right. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, it's your kiss my ass date. That's the date you can walk right. out the door whenever you have a bad day. So, um, 
Yeah, this, sorry, this is most of the time a family-friendly meal, <laughs> though we are, you know, I'm drinking whiskey and, and cussing on. Anyways, so, um, okay, so so your current retirement scenario, you've got four years till you're minimally eligible. And so is your goal just to get 100% replacement income? Is that kind of your goal? And are you on pace for that? Or what is your goal for replacement yeah, income? Yeah, so um, to, get, uh, to get to 100%, uh, essentially just replace my my, my current salary right. uh, um, with my high three with the, the social security kicker or I guess the supplement mm-hmm. and uh, with TSP, I, my goal would have to be to be 700,000. Okay. You know what I mean? And then, so between now and the next four years, um, I would need a, to average 7% uh, to get to my goal. You're on pace, and, right? Right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've kept it at the, at the, you know, very much the minimal um to to realistically you know and even this year man i mean this year was brutal but um i'm still on track to to get to where i need to get yeah. so i need i think it's uh seven percent between now and the next four years to get somewhere like 750 or eight yeah. you know and uh if i could uh if i could average you know uh well, 13 or 14 i'd, I'd hit that Hit that big mark. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody wants to hit before. before you're, you're buying drinks if you roll a digit in, up there. Right. So that happens. Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> Everybody likes uh, PBR. Right. And so. I'm, I'm close enough to Jaron to cash in on that. I just right. live just across the mountains <laughs> from him. So, um, that so that's true. So, uh, okay. So, so well, you, just, just one, <coughs> one last caveat to that. Sure. Though, and, and I talked about this today, uh, or I, I posted uh, this today. Um, with one of the guys is that uh, even when I hit that date, if I decide to retire, I am not stop stopping doing this. You know right, I mean? right. I mean, there's so many people that talk, you know, um, I, I've heard uh, a couple folks today like, hey, you only got a couple years left. You better start putting a lot into G to stock it away. So what a mistake, right? I'm like, well, I mean, this, these are the, you guys ever see that curve? At the very end, it goes like this, Yeah. right? So if you take, and when it's going like this, instead of like this, you get right here and you put everything in the G, it's just done. Well, and right? not to not to make another plug for a previous video I've done, but uh, I, I have an entire video discussing that exact issue. Right. And I think I, I think I took, um, I call it my 2008 scenario where I take the person who retired at the worst possible time, right, in 2008. And um, they, they left all their money in the C fund 100% of the time. And they started with a million dollars and they got all the way down to $542,000 in 11 months. So they lost 50% of their retirement. But taking the, the uh, 5% withdrawal, which is uh, common or 1% over the average, right? Uh, they were back over a million in 2013. If they just lived their life and went on with it. And, and if, they, if they left it all in G, I think they, um, they made it like 22 years before their account hit zero. And... You and I have talked about the next thing I'm going to say uh, often. And so some people, um, I know some family members who their goal is to have their last check bounce when they die, right? Um, But we've talked about creating generational wealth for our family. And so, you know, I think it's important to understand the risk reward of, you know, sure, it, you may be, you know, safer, I guess, going to the G fund, but you, you really miss out on the opportunity to help the next generation in your family um, and continue to build generational wealth so it's easier for them than it was for you. And and that's that's my goal and I know that's your goal. And so I right, think that that's an important topic. So absolutely. When you think about that, I mean right, so if, if and most of the people now, right, I'm I'm so jealous of you guys, right? Because you have the time. You've got time left. And I didn't catch this until, you know, just a few years ago. Right. And I got seven years uh, left. Uh, when I when when we found all this stuff sure. and we started really researching this stuff and and so there's there's so many folks that are just now coming into the TSP or they're getting out of the military or they're in the military and they've got 20 years to go 30 years to go I'm like oh man knowing what I know now oh man that would right. have been so cool everybody is gonna hit a million bucks right. all you guys are it's it's so cool right but if you think about that right say you got a million bucks and um, you decide to take out, you know, sixty thousand, right? Which, which, you know, I make a decent salary, and really all I need is sixty thousand to replace, sure. you know, where I'm doing now. If I if I never work again, right? Right. If I never do anything again, 
right? So even at 70 or even at 7%, if I retire at 50, I get 7%, take out 60,000 and that's with 700,000. Right. You know, that's not a million. Even at 7%, my money lasts until I'm like, I don't know, 83 or something like that. And, and most I mean, people just, are not, are not needing that much money as they hit, no, you know. Absolutely not. Time. So, but if you have a million bucks, like which most of you guys are probably going to have by the time this is done, you take out 60,000. I mean, that's a penance. That's like 3%, right. you know, 4%, which means your money's going to keep well, building. Which it's 6%, time, but. <laughs> but well, <laughs> See, Jaron's not our math guy. So when Brian's on, Brian would have corrected him, you know, probably Sandy too. So. <laughs> you listen to this guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I've, everybody knows. Nothing I'm cheerleading. That's right. <laughs> and you do a great job. So, um, okay. So, Jaron, um, so we're kind of. It, it builds up, dude. It builds up and builds up. It, and it really does. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. You know, and, and I, I will say that you are a, a success story for somebody. And I would say that your story is common. You don't have an, an abnormal story. Right. You know, most people have done that path and you're. You're getting to the point now where you've educated yourself and you're you're there, right? You're you're getting ready to retire and you you've got your goals. I, I should be able to do it. I mean, I should be able to pull it off just right. in time, right? You know, but even then, even if I if I found it right now and I was several hundred thousand back, you know, you know, I mean, I'm pretty forthwith with how much I make. Right. Uh, I mean, how much my TSP balance sure. is and stuff. But I've I've gotten uh, several of my friends who are part of the group going, "What are you doing, man?" You know, right? And they're like, "Let's." Unless it's a long-term hostage situation, nobody's going to be able to take that money from me. <laughs> yeah, I, I know people. People, like I guess it's a it, it, it's an American thing. People are really weird about money, and right. it's like you know, okay, right. you know how much is in my retirement? You know, that, what, right. do you think you can magically steal that from me? Like you know, I, I right. right. So it's it's it, it, it's it's not a problem, and, and really, it's not an issue unless people are rubbing it in your nose, and that's not any of anybody's assertion or aspiration, right? <laughs> So it's Show motivation and that. education. So, right. Right. I'm a knucklehead, you know, and if I can get, if I can get, you know, I'm a knuckle dragger. I kick doors, you know what I mean? Or did a long time. And, um, it, it's, you know, to be able to get up to where I'm at now and then have a goal, uh, within uh, very easily reachable, I think, you know, um, anybody could do it. Sure. You know what I mean? That's, and that's my whole thing. And I also be candid about, how much I've sucked at times, you know what I mean? The bad times right. and, and the successes. So I don't think there's enough of that for us at TSP. Right. Nobody uh -huh. tells anybody, you know what I mean? So that's why I want to, again, it's about education. It's about, man, hopefully you can not do this. I was real dumb. Right. You know? <laughs> right. No, that, that's great, so, man. So, um, we had a couple more topics, but we're kind of coming up against time right now. Um, and I think some right. of these topics, like your 2021 strategy, I think Matt, wanted to do a uh, a round table with all of us where we talk about our 2021 strategies and I think so I'll leave some of that for then um, and I hate to cut you short because this was a this was a great talk um, but uh, yeah. we'll have so we'll have maybe we'll have to come back on for a part two so we'll see how how, much, how many people right. like our tank tops and uh, uh, and TSP so that's right triple T <laughs> TSP and tank tops of Travis so uh, at TSP. That's what it was. <laughs> uh, so I just wanted to take a moment and thank our sponsor here at Travis's Musings. Uh, that's, of course, TSP Calc. Um, if you guys have not signed up for the premium membership over there, it's 20 bucks a year. And Jaron will be the first to tell you, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, it's a pretty reasonable right. amount for, I mean, if you take a look at any of the TSP services out there who don't really do better than, uh, than your seasonality or for them, I mean, to be perfectly honest, most of the big pay guys, anyways, don't do better than buy and hold, um, and they're charging hundreds of dollars a year on in, in a lot of aspects. So, um, so it's great if you know if you guys are interested or whatever, support the support TSP Calc, support the website, and and uh, uh, continue to further your own education. So, All right. Well, the last thing uh, before we go, um, everybody just. You know, um, we're not going to be able to tell you how to do it. You really got to do some education. Yep. You know what I mean? And please don't listen. Don't follow me blindly. Don't follow Travis blindly. Don't follow anybody blindly. Please learn, guys. And, and the Facebook uh, group, follow the Facebook group has members. those educational units available. And so take those units. Go to our announcement section. Um, Travis on the videos. It's all good stuff, guys. So that's that's my main takeaway from this is is 
just educate yourself. It's yeah. it's not as hard as you think. If I can do it, anybody can. <laughs> That's so. right. The knuckle dragger, remember? So, uh, so anyways, thanks guys, right, right. and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next time on TSP Tank Tops with Travis. So thanks, Jared.